wanted to make this video for you all today to help you get started and give you a little bit of a preview into our upcoming project of value. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get started with anything today, the primary materials you are going to need are going to include your pencils, of course, as well as your kneaded eraser, your pink pearl eraser, a pencil sharpener, your blending stump, your value skill, if you have one, and your sketchbook. So this exercise is mostly just going to give you a little bit of a taste as to what your final project is going to be like. So you are going to start with a minimum of 10 shapes overlapping themselves. And this is going to take the premise of kind of like a paint by numbers sort of process to where if the shape overlaps three times, you are going to use the darkest value. If it overlaps two times, it's going to use the second to darkest value. If it overlaps once with the background, it's going to be colored in only once with the sort of like the mid-range value. The background is going to be the second to lightest value. And then we're really not going to use the white so much. So this is to allow you to recognize and play with your values. So what I'm going to start with is I am going to start by labeling each of my overlapping shapes, depending upon whether they overlap once with the background, twice with other shapes, or three times with other shapes. So I'm going to start with that first. All right. So by this point, your values generally are probably pretty well established. And maybe if you're anything like me, everything is in kind of a little, well, gestural, maybe a little streaky. That's okay. Because now is where you get to use your blending stump. And your blending stump will really help to make things seem more seamless and really tie everything together so that it doesn't feel like there's this sort of like patchy area going on. So remember for your blending stump, you're going to want a piece of paper. It could be a post-it. It could be a piece of newsprint. Um, it could be a piece of printer paper, whatever it is, make sure that that's resting underneath your wrist so that you don't get a big graphite streak right on your, um, on your hand. So, Personally, what I like to do is I like to just make circles all around just making sure that whatever history I have of any strokes of pencil whatsoever comes nice and blended. So by this point, I have mostly laid out my values. I have blended them out using a blending stump. So now I am ready to go back in and make some final tweaks, final changes and everything. Um, I start to see kind of like in this area over here and also in this area over here, I do see kind of a little bit of smudges. So just going back in, with my kneaded eraser and start just pressing, tapping a little bit in that area, which will lift some of that out. And again, I'm going to do the same thing over here too, as I'm just kind of like making some last minute tweaks. But again, I can always go back in now with my pencil into those areas 
sometimes if you're blonding with something, you will realize sometimes it does tend to get a little murky like this. You can wipe it off on the side to take some of that extra graphite out. And then again, just very lightly using that side, that will help to soften his edges. And I think that looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to let you have your hand at that today. And if you have any questions, let me know. See you later.